Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of To Be Released. I'm Wookie and it's just me today. So that's why I'm here with this theme song that's slowly going to control the volume at any time. Like as you can see right here. Oh, okay, okay, and that's enough. Ooh. That was a that was a hell of an experience. Just drink that water snake. Good boy. In that video. Anyway, this is To Be Released and I'm Wookie. Hello everyone. It's just me today because, uh, yeah, it's just me right now. It's all good though. Well, well when me and Zenrot get less busy, well, I swear to God, Zenrot will return. But to be released continues regardless. The marching of time must always be forward, as they say. So let's get into, uh, let's get into today. How, oh, I forgot about the beginning of this where I talk about how it's been going. It's been going pretty, you know, I feel better now. For any of uh, people who saw the previous grind and talks and were worried about me, I'm feeling much better now. So I'm ready. It's still hot as fuck. I wish it wasn't hot as fuck. But I digress. Anyway, let's get into let's, let's, let's talk about the big boy today. Because today's big boy is a brand new big boy. Never before released. It, it, it is some, as a guy called a physical uh, super saiyan. <laughs> Excuse me, his... Man, I fucking... Uh, legendary Super Saiyan Burly, the Eternal Horror. Um, he got an Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, so, for people who don't remember, uh, he was released back when Super uh, Vegito was released because I guess they wanted to introduce the meta and they realized that if Super Vegito was just by himself, he would run the gamut of everything. So, they literally just like shit dropped the physical uh, god lead, as we called them back then. Um, the five gods um and he was the easily easy the weakest god of the ball because he was so stupid um and not in a good way he had the potential to be good but it feels like they kind of limited him in a lot of ways so with the extremes the awakening it's a good way for them on the eve of them releasing the lr broly which i believe as of this recording was just announced on the dokkan twitter so get ready for that um for everyone who's not pulling for him, like me, we'll get to have this uh, Super Saiyan really to fuck with. That sounds wrong. Anyway, let's talk about what he does. His leader skill now with after the Z Awakening post buff is 100% for key to physicals. He uh, raises attack and defense and causes supreme damage to the enemy. His key is plus 4 attack and defense 80%. When key is 8 or more, launch an additional super attack when attacking. Chance to perform a critical hit. Uh, up 2% with each attack perform up to 40%. So, and then his link skills are the average Broly. And categories are pure Saiyans, movie bosses, and full power. Um, so the first things there's about him, I feel like he's finally a unit. So if, I know the old way he did it, what was his, yeah, his old passive was a 7,000 attack, which is laughable now. And uh, it's really no good. Um, so they finally made him a unit that's not only worth using, but I think is actually kind of interesting because he has, I believe it's the unlimited buff. I believe it lasts for 99 turns. It does. So that means that the more you attack with him, the stronger he gets. And he's actually built to be like, well, the stronger he attacks, the stronger he gets. Um, the problem is, is that the only real things that use that are the Goku at the late stage, but I, I bet eventually they'll add more stuff like that. But, um, I think it was a pretty good buff, like, honest, all things considered. Some people are, like, down on it. Some people are, I think, also overhyping it. But I feel he's, he's perfectly okay. I don't know. He seems, he's playable now, which is different from when he was back in the day. I don't know if you would run him over, like, some other legendary Super Saiyan Broly's, which, you know with um let me see let me actually quickly do a quick check to see what names he shares with because i think it's uh god damn it i'll find it hold on folks as i look for it i know he's a pure saiyan so he doesn't share a name with the um with the tech LR. He does it with the STR LR, but honestly, STR LR is only brought out for the World Tournament, so he never gets any use at all, because fuck the World Tournament. 
And the other Broly he actually shares a name with is the leader of his category, which is... Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay. So, yeah, there's really no Super Saiyan Broly. Oh, okay. I see. Um, yeah. I don't see why a reason not to run him, really. Uh, if you got movie bosses, pure Saiyans, or full power, then you are also Broly-centric. I think he fits on a Broly team pretty damn well. And so when the day comes when a Broly meta comes around, you'll be happy you had him. Uh, but let's put him on the big boy scale. Um, I think a three is fair. He seems to be a freaking perfectly good card now, and the only thing that's a bummer is that he is literally being released on the eve of one of the greatest Broly animations out there. So his animations really suck. Like, hardcore status, just pure suckage, so... I don't know. So for that, that's definitely not worthy of a 5, in my opinion, or even a 4. So a 3. I think I think that's pretty fair. I think I've been fair to Broly. So a 3 out of 5 big boys for the physical, former god, Broly. And that's the only unit up on the big boy scale today. Let's, um... Whoa, one moment. While I go look for questions, why don't you enjoy some more snake drink of water? He'll comfort you today. Again, if you want to send in any questions, feel free to leave them on YouTube or wait till I ask for them on Twitter. Twitter, I usually ask for them on Tuesday and YouTube. Whenever you comment, as long as it's the most recent episode. Let's see. Oh, we found them. Okay, bye, snake drink of water. Let's see. Um... First question comes in from Holborn, who asks, Happy Global 4 Year Anniversary, how did your summons go? I have a question. If you were to design the next gameplay mode slash challenge for Dokkan or Legends, what would it be? I would love to see more uses of team cause restricted events in Dokkan that would really push the limit on your team building skills. Perhaps a set of SBR type stages where the restrictions get stricter and stricter. Uh, happy 4 Year uh, to Global. They made it. No one thought they would especially global um but um i don't play global which uh that's a long-standing history so i can tell you how when i summoned for them i didn't get either lr back in the day so i assume if i went to global it would be the same but i hope you know i hope everyone summons was out there good uh hope everyone who listens to this has an lr good for them anyway uh, in terms of next gameplay mode for legends can Legends implement a game mode where it's fun to fight to CPU? It seems impossible, but that would be my number one challenge. The greatest challenge is actually fun AI battles that don't require you to have either A, the most strongest units in the game, or B, cheese the fuck out of them. And as for gameplay for Dokkan, I think I think you kind of hit it right on the head. Stuff where you're like kind of the problem is, is that the last time they tried to do team restrictions, they were too tough, or they were stupid, like um, the um, super strikes back in the day, if you still farm them anyway. Uh, I think they removed this, but it used to be that you could only use, um, like, I believe the team cost was like around 100 or so to, to farm it, so it ended up making it like super annoying to farm them actually. And now they've removed that because like nobody cares about super strike units. But I think something like that, or like specifically if they told you like like pre pre made teams, so you go into it and they say beat this boss using these set of units, I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I'll go with that. Thank you for the question, Holborn. And this is the last question for YouTube. This is from Playtech and says, how does the, the fuck shop rate on the big boy scale? Um, three. I don't think it's a very good song. I think it's a very funny song. And the Donahue video with uh, two life crew performing on it is really good. But that's about it. In terms of an actual song, it's really hard to sing. And I promised someone who watches these not to uh, sing the lyrics of funk shop anymore. If you want to hear that, go watch my Pycon uh, video. So good luck with that one. And that's it. That's it for questions from YouTube. Now let's go on to Twitter, huh? While I switch over to Twitter, enjoy some snake drinking water. Okay. 
Yeah, that's enough snake. You're done here. Okay. This question comes in from Nighthawk, who asks, uh, last week Zenrot wasn't here and there wasn't uh, there wasn't time, so I'll ask what would both of your custom stands be. I also made this stand for you. I don't know if you remember, but yeah, both of you have gotten to watch JoJo and it's been great so far. And uh, let me see if I can actually... Let me do some quick work here so that people can see this image. Uh, excuse me. Here we go. There we go. And here's the image you provided of me and my stand. It's a very good image. Thank you for making it. It's very good. Uh, and in terms of what my stand... Sorry, Zenrot's again not here. I think I've said to Zenrot before that I would like my stand to be a stand that could prevent all conflict. So it would be like... Um, but like and not in a way of like um, Gold Rec Room experience where it just states things to zero. I'd actually make you want to feel bad about what you've done. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I would be. And then the name of it would be um okay it'd either be that or the ability to shoot pinballs out of my hand and then the other one i wanted to be called is little help for, with a little help from my friends and the second one would be pinball wizard those are my two stands whether or not uh how i feel at that time but thank you for the question i hawk glad you got it you glad you're enjoying jojo uh, next question comes from most creative name who asks i know well, being Wookiee, are not much into. I know with Wookie. Well, no, okay. I know you being Wookiee are not much into the PS library, but have you or Zen ever played a game called Gravity Rush 1 or 2? I'm playing 2 now, and it's great. Also, update I got Super Saiyan 4, yay. Saving 1,300 stones was worth it. Congrats! I'm glad you were able to get the, the LR. Um, now i said my specific ps library in experience starts around ps1 and then it ends at um persona 3 and then starting from persona 3 upwards i've been basically uh on sony's side for the most part but i've definitely played gravity rush i actually owned a vita and i played it on the vita which it's not a great place to play it on the vita and i would like to try the ps4 version but i never got around to it which is a shame because I thought it was cool and it looked cool, um, but I've definitely heard of it and I played number one, so I'll I'll be glad to check out too when I get time. Thank you for the question. Next question comes in from Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Johan, who says, "Can you tell people to skip Super Saiyan Four, uh, Goku and Vegeta banner for AGL Zamasu banner?" And uh, he's also provided a picture, so let me just quickly show everyone the picture he's provided and there it is it's a very good Zamasu picture <laughs> uh, and of course of course I will everyone skip uh, summoning for these fucking LRs wait for a real unit like AGL Zamasu thank you for the question um, next question comes in from Bull Narat, which I'm not sure if I'm saying that name right but hopefully I am who asks what are your thoughts on Bella Dolphin's Immortal Elixir. I'm assuming that's the lady who's selling her bath water. Uh, I mean, massive respect tricking a bunch of dudes into buying your water. I think that's funny. Good on her. Uh, and for people who are buying it and then try and drink it when it says don't drink it. It's funny because like a lot of people came out and were like, oh my god, look at all these hoaxes. And then she had to come out and be like, hey, I haven't shipped it yet. <laughs> So, I don't know, man. That shit's weird. I will say that um, something like she's doing can't be done with a man, but also if a man tried to sell his water, he would not have received the same level of, like, you get herpes from doing all this stuff. So, I don't know. It's a really weird fucking situation that just shows to goes to show you how fucked the internet is at all times. I hope that helps. I hope that makes you understand. I would have a different perspective on it if I had more of a, I don't know, weird bend to it. I guess my idea is that, do I think it's weird that you're buying her water? No, because I also spend money on gotchas. At least they're getting something physical. <laughs> at least they have something they show for it, and it's at least a really weird story. Meanwhile, there's no way for me to show someone my, I spent $200 to get this kid Goku. And they go, what? 
and then I go check out this bitch in animation though like so I, I would say as a gotcha player I have no place to stand for people buying it anyway thank you for the question next question comes in from uh my brother Admiral Nux who asks what's the best flavor in Neapolitan ice cream it's I think by default it's chocolate isn't it actually um <laughs> if you if you got this far into this video and you care about heavy opinions about Neapolitan ice cream please leave in the comments below what your favorite flavor of Neapolitan ice cream is and then I will read it I will read every single flavor and then we will decide a winner when Zenrod is here this question is too advanced for me right now um but thank you Admiral Nux for asking it and the next question comes from Mr. Matt Booty who asked favorite fate character and uh it also says I can translate his tweet could not translate it I'll be damned thank you Bing um this is a tough one uh I have a lot of like favorites like I really like Bunyan I really like Quetzalcoatl I really like um Iskandar I like Waver I like yeah I like a lot of dudes who are like I like original Emia which is I guess I should not say original Emia I like cool Emia with guns he's I, I call him good Emia and the other one's bad Emia but in terms of favorite, I think it still has to be from. It has to be for Quetzalcoatl, which is from Fate Grand Order, who I'm unable to get it because she's everything I would want out of a character, who is a lady, and the other ones would have to be. This is cheating. It has to be a tie between that specific era and Zero, where Waver and Iskandar are teaming up together with each other, because I think they play off of each other extremely well. They're a good duo together. They're fun to interact with, and they really are the. As much as like you think, like oh man, Emiya is the main character here, and he is. Um, I think Waver is a much more interesting main character, because he's coming from this from like the idea of like I'm a shitty mage, and I'm in a world where shitty mages don't go very far, but I'm gonna reach for the fucking stars. Now let's see how this goes, and it's a very bad idea, and he gets paired with the number one writer who's such a big blowhard and really his blowhardness is what eventually causes them to lose but it's also why you love him at the end so i'll say it's a three-way tie between quetzalcoatl waver and iskandar it's those it's those dudes and then special shout out to bunyan who i really like as well it was really more of a character in the um the learning with manga series uh thank you for the question though mr yugibut and the next question comes in from Airfighter, who says, What are your thoughts on Stone Ocean being animated? Ask me again when in two years it's actually animated. <laughs> I really like Stone Ocean. It's a funny thing that Zen's not here because Zen is on. Me and Zen are like opposites in this one. I think part five is the worst part. Then he thinks, I believe, part six is the worst part. And so it's really funny. But uh, I really like part six, at least from what I remember of it. And I won't say any more because any, I don't want to accidentally spoil people on it. Um, what's your favorite time of the day and why? I think my favorite time of the day, and this is from Nuno Morgado. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, my favorite time of the day is like... Anytime the sun's down, I guess. Like, it's after midnight, I guess. Let's call it after midnight and leave it at that. I really like it better when it's cold out and it's dark out. But not to be outside. If I'm leaving outside the house and I would like it to be somewhere where the sun's not down too hard. You know what I'm saying? So, there's my answer. Next question comes in from positive hashtag watch Pokemon. It says, rate how cursed this pick is from 1 to 10. And here's the picture in question it is a uh, rhyme style dressed up as looks like Geo and Gold Requiem <laughs> experience. Uh, that's a hard five on the, I would say on specifically the rhyme style um, editing stuff. There have been crazier edits, let me tell you. So I'll give it a five. It's a good five. It kind of, it's funny, kind of funny how much it kind of looks like Geo in that one. Anyway, 
Next question comes from Who Gives a Shit? That's his actual old name. For you and everyone on the show, you have to pick an option. For the next 130 years, you have the exact same body type as A, 1, Skeevil's Evil Scanny Boo, 2, Fat Janemba, 3, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, uh, 4, Third Form Frieza, and then 5, Veku. Um, I mean... It'd probably be, like, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, right? I mean, the muscles would fucking suck ass, but... In theory, you could... Hmm. I guess the idea is whether or not I just want to be... I think I would get a lot more press if I was, like, super big, dumb buff, but it would also be very hard. Hmm, you know what? Fuck it, Fajinemba. I'm just huge, and I'm big. It, uh, this also assumes that I'm bigger than a house, so I'm going with that. And then the last question comes from that one tech guy who asks... Thoughts on Legends? Um, I just think it's kind of boring right now. Like, And again, I always say this because this is just the way it is, but if you don't pull any of the new units and you don't have any interest in playing with the free unit, then it's kind of useless. Then you're not really doing anything on Legends but waiting for the next banner to get fucked over on or to just excel at crazy. So... And I can't care about those banners anymore because of how much they fucked over everything. So, current thoughts on Legends? Low. I think it's honestly the worst gotcha I probably have installed right now. Uh, and that is even below or Collection, which is, again, dying on me. But at least it had the werewolf fall to remove the option to spend cash on it. That's my feeling on it. Okay, and now with that, that's everything. So that's an episode of To Be Released. It's very short because it's just me, and hopefully um, I was awake enough. Again, I record these after midnight, so never know how they're going to turn out. Either I'm too tired or not tired enough or something. Um, something, usually something like that, man. I don't know. So let's, let's, uh, let's play yourself out. Oh, you know what? You know what? I can, okay, you know what? Let me try and remember the um the outro for the damn show, huh? Uh Okay kids. Always remember that if you play Dokkan, you go to hell before you die. And that's no good. So thank you for joining us. I'm gonna try and find a joining us. Oops, wrong thing. There we go. Snake drinking water. And then we'll play a song to get us out of here. What song, you may ask? That's a good question. I don't know. What's a good song? What's a really good song? What about... Uh... Uh... Here we go. How about the some of this? Yeah. Drink that water. Drink it. Drink it.